Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Girls, moms, and dads, welcome to Heroes Monopoly Academy. This is Thieved Grade Mathematics, week number 25 and day number two. All right. So today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the area of a right-angled triangle. All right, so um, a few weeks ago we talked about a right-angled triangle be, being a, a triangle in which one of its angles will have 90 degrees in it. And when that happens, they're going to put this symbol right over there to let us know which of the angles will have 90 degrees. Well, sometimes they may want to tell us, go ahead and calculate the area of this right-angled triangle. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have a little formula that we can use to do that. It's called alf base times height. Well, this is the base, this is the height. And all we need to do in this situation is just go ahead and do alf multiplied by base, which is 20, and then multiplied by its height, which is 10. Well, 2 is going to cancel 10 over there, which makes it 5, which is going to be equivalent to 100 inches squared. Well, that's going to be the area of this right-angled triangle, just like that. Now, what about if we want to prove that this formula is actually right? Well, how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and draw an Im imaginary line from here to point H and then draw another imaginary line over there to point G to form a rectangle. Did you see that this looks like a rectangle right now? If you're looking from E, H, G, F, well, that looks like a rectangle. Now, what is the area of a rectangle? How do you find the area of a rectangle? You're gonna say F, G, distance F, G, multiplied by distance G, H, which is gonna be F, G, multiplied by g h right now f g is going to be equivalent to b multiplied by guess what g h is going to be the same thing as e f which is height all right so the area of this rectangle is b multiplied by h but then when we slice the rectangle into two with this diagonal line over there then its area definitely has to be divided by two as well. So area of triangle, this right angle triangle, okay, is gonna be B multiplied by H and divided by two, which is exactly this formula right over there like that. <laughs> Did you see how that works? So that's how we can do it. All right, so let's go ahead and turn to page number 179. You're gonna see an additional, additional contents over there to retain what we talked about a little bit better. I wanna thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be.